Hey, morning guys. Um, just real quick before I uh, make my way to work this morning, uh, I wanted to show you guys the prop car in daylight and say that, uh, oh my gosh, great stuff works. Hey guys, good evening. How's it going? Um, I just have this weird thought enter my head. Um, basically, the video camera is like the male's pocket mirror. Okay, random thought of the day, I guess, whatever. Anyway, um, off work. I'm home, I'm happy, it's my Friday, so all is good. Uh, I showed you already just a second ago um, in the daylight what I did yesterday. Um, and I'm going to trim it up just a little bit, I think, maybe. But, I mean, it's really in there well. And this is the tube for, in case you didn't watch yesterday, go watch yesterday. Um, <laughs> and this is a tube for the fog machine that's going to come out of the exhaust. So that's basically done with what's going on right there. Uh, one thing that I do need to kind of point out is the track wheels that this car is going to uh, slide on. I'm actually going to mount on each side right here and uh, probably right here. The majority of the weight on this car is on, on the ass end. So that's something that I really have to take into consideration. And I'm not sure if any of you were also wondering either, but the uh, the wheels on this car, I'm going to keep them so that you know so that they move, but they aren't really meant to contact the ground a lot. Uh, they might a little bit, and that allow them to move. But my major fear in that um, is I don't want this thing to jump the tracks. So if there's any high spots in the yard or whatnot. Uh, they might have to be, you know, leveled down just a little bit. The tires can brush, but I don't want them to, uh, you know, like I said, I, I don't want this thing flying off track. So that's one point. Uh, the other point to kind of compensate for that, uh, that effect, uh, grow the grass a little bit tall. That way it'll still look like the wheels are contacting the ground, but I'm going to have pallets really close to both sides of this car. So you'll be able to see the wheels but when this car is flying at you you're not going to care about the wheels but like i said it's a small little details that uh that make this thing or that's going to scare the crap out of people with this prop so uh my major thing that i want to get done tonight uh, like you saw yesterday uh the holes down here uh are too small for the rod that i bought so i uh Got my drill and a couple of other tools, and hopefully uh, I can get those at least started tonight. All right, so almost three minutes have passed since I last talked to y'all. <laughs> you know that I've had problems getting tools from the shop. I, I get tools, and they're like not the right ones, not the right size, whatever, and I don't have tools here. I've got a shop with all my tools. Um, so yeah, so I got my half-inch drill bit that I needed for my half inch uh, steel rod. However, the drill that I have at home only has a 3 8 chuck. So, <laughs> after I got done cussing a little bit, I figured that uh, I'd uh, come back on and let you guys know my little predicament. So, because I always want to get something done, even when I come to hurdles like this, which really suck, I don't want to say that too loud. My neighbors think I'm crazy already. Um, kind of like Doc from Back to the Future. Everybody thinks he's crazy until he comes up with something cool. And then, oh, he's cool now. So, anyway. <sighs> um, so, what I think I'm going to do is... Uh, I got some uh, map gas, which is uh, much better than uh, propane as far as heat goes. Because I need to bend a 45 degree uh, angle in the, uh, in the rod for it to slip into the hole. Yeah. So I think that I'm going to do that tonight and possibly even cut the bar in, in half and at least get it ready tomorrow so when I somehow uh, either get a different drill bit or a different chuck on the drill, I can take care of that tomorrow. And it'll be daylight and a little bit warmer too. <laughs> So, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. See if I can't uh, heat this up a little bit without ruining my camera. Stay, little camera, stay.
Arr. Note to mom and dad, if you're watching, for Christmas, I'd love a tripod. Thanks, guys. Hopefully, awesome, cool things will happen. Oh, my gosh. This is scary. Do not fall, camera. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes, you can. There you go, 45 on one side, 45 on the other, and this is just going to uh, go down into here, and then get welded up here, so that I can stop camber movement on the tire. Alright, so I hate the feet, I hate being set back, and I don't like taking no for an answer, damn it. <laughs> So, I figured Lowe's is still open. Why not go and get the drill bit I need? It's cheaper than getting a chuck or a drill. And the only drills that I have at work that have a half inch chuck are pneumatic, and right now I don't have a compressor at the house. So, it made absolute sense to just come down here, get the drill bit I needed, and head back home. And I also know that I'm kind of all over the place right now uh, with the prop car and different things that I've said. And, cutting the video and cutting the video and cutting the video, but on the way home from Lowe's, I got hungry, so I'm stopping by Taco Bell, grabbing dos pimburritos and dos sides of nacho con queso, something like that. <laughs> and then um, the one thing that just popped in my mind, too, is that I need to go out and get Christmas cards, and to think that I didn't even get a Halloween card. What is up with that? Okay, so anyway, yeah, forgot all about the whole Christmas card thing, so that's something else I gotta do here in, uh, in the next couple days so I don't get them sent out too late, and then people wonder if I still care, or whatever. But isn't that funny, though? You never hear from these people all year long. You don't hear from anybody. And then what happens? Christmas time rolls around, and you get a card from these people. You're lucky if it says more than like happy holidays, Merry Christmas, love, so and so, so and so, so. Write something. You know, you don't hear from somebody all this time, but they're important enough to send a card to. Write something. So, oh, am I ranting? Damn. Anyway. So, yeah, gonna grab some grub, go back home, eat, and uh, then I'll get to uh, drilling the, drilling the uh, prop car. Alright, so I made a little bit more progress. Uh, first of all, I would like to say goodbye to an old dear friend. Drill, I will miss you. Yeah, so the drill gave out on me. Um, after it gets heated up a little bit, it just stops turning, so... Anyway. <laughs> Purely joking, you know this, right? <laughs> anyway, um, I got the bar mounted in the hole, or actually I drilled the hole so that the bar will fit, and my reason for a tight fit is because I'm not sure I'm going to be able to weld to this, or how well it's going to, uh, how well it's going to take. So by going through the, the hole distance, um, it should, it should be uh, like cheese, man. 
Gouda. So tomorrow, I'm going to cut the bar in half, put this piece through, cut it, trim it, weld it. So that's the plan for tomorrow on the prop car. So I guess that's about it um, for out here tonight. All right, so the last thing that I wanted to uh, to say tonight, well, actually, um, I guess I had two things. First of all, uh, I told you guys I was going to do voices. I'm not sure I should do them or not. I haven't gotten any feedback either way. Maybe it make this thing a little bit more interesting. Um, but quite honestly, it's still kind of embarrassing for me to, uh, to do that. So I'm not looking at the camera because I'm looking at if I were to do one, then um, which one would I do? Oh, uh, I don't know. How about this? One that I've already done. I think I did this on the uh, Thanksgiving video. But, uh... <laughs> in fact, let me just do uh, do the shout-out. No, I, I won't do that. Can you see the apprehension I'm feeling right now? Okay. So, no, no, I'll tell you what, man. No dang, um, go to the Halloween store, man. No, get the dang prop, man. You know, Howlin' House, man. Everybody didn't come to Howlin' House, man. You know, it's really cool, man. All right, so boom, Howard. Okay. So anyway, now that I'm starting to get embarrassed and my face is turning red, I want to give the shout out of the day. We got a new subscriber, and that would be Mr. Stitch 1000. Thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, feel free to comment, rate, post, whatever you want to do. Um, you guys uh, have a good night. We'll catch you tomorrow. Uh, get more done on the prop car. Um, so happy haunting, and we'll see you tomorrow.